Brandon is expected to make a full recovery and from his hospital bed here at Nebraska Medicine, he tells me he is blessed to be alive, especially since doctors had to remove part of his skull to relieve the pressure on his brain. Friday night lights turn into emergency lights at Burke High School. A papillion La Vista football player gets knocked out, a concussion. I remember hitting the quarterback. I remember going down. I remember uh, telling my friend Sam Bolin, I said, I think I have a concussion, dude. Brandon Steberg recalls feeling confused and throwing up after that September 23rd hit. Dad, Brandon Sr., rushed from the stands to the field. By the time I got down there, he was already unconscious. He just had a grimace on his face and he was breathing real heavy and we couldn't get him to wake up. Doctors temporarily removed part of Brandon's skull and he spent six days in a medically induced coma. I was really, really out. They uh, told me that I'm really fortunate to be alive today. And grateful for support and visitors at the hospital. The senior especially touched when teammates carried his jersey onto the field during Friday's homecoming game. It made me cry. It made me cry every single time I saw it. I, I, I watched so many videos. I, I read so many posts. And while Brandon is making progress, he hopes other athletes are careful with every play. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Don't, 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 don't tackle with your head down. It's, it's just not, not good. Brandon had a CT scan today, and depending on the results of that, he could have another surgery as early as this week to put back that part of the skull that was removed. Now, his right eye also has severe nerve damage that could take up to a year to fully recover. At Nebraska Medicine, Chin Doan, KETV, Newswatch 7.